Welcome to Houdini and another exciting tutorial. Um, today we're just going to go over a quick tip on being able to render low polygon geo um, at a high quality using subdivisions. So what is what does it mean to subdivide geo? Well, let's dive in and look at that. So I'm going to hit tab here, click a geometry node, jump in here, and I'm going to drop down a box. So I'm going to turn this point checker on. So this, this box right here is made up of points, um, faces, which is like the square on each side that you see, and then these edges. So right now it's a uh, pretty low poly. We can middle mouse click here and we see we have six primitives or meaning there's six faces here. So I'm going to drop down a subdivide node and I'm going to click there. We see that every face was now subdivided. So now there's 24 faces. That's a lot more than eight or, or six. So what happened here is I'm going to turn this crease weight on is that each point here that was originally there, the algorithm basically said, hey, find the midpoint there, put a point there, and do that for each edge until it's fully subdivided. That's a very basic rudimentary understanding of what's going on there. And so it does that. So you'll get this odd looking shape for this box here but if we keep subdividing and increase it more and more we see that it starts to smooth it out and it starts to look more like a circle i'm going to hit shift w to get rid of that wireframe so it looks a lot more like a circle but we see here it's now got a thousand five hundred and thirty six primitives whereas this box only had six so how can we get this box to render like this circle, but not have to use 1,500 primitives. Well, what we can do is simply we've got this box here ready to go. Going to jump down to the render land or the render context, and we're going to drop down a mantra node here in order to render this. I'm going to jump back up to object land here and I'm going to control click or command click on a Mac. Um, so we've got our camera here. That's all we needed. Camera one, jump back here. I'm going to render. So we see all we got was a box and that's not what we wanted. We wanted to get a circle. So if I jump back into the object land, what we can do is click here on this geometry and we can click render polygons as subdivision. So now if we jump back and we hit render, it's going to sub the, subdivide the box at render time. So it's going to do what it, we just saw it do in that subdivision node, but we are only needing to render with six primitives. But let's say that you wanted to have your box shape and you don't want it to be totally smooth everywhere. You wanted some areas to have a nice sharp edge. Well, nice tip is you can drop down the crease node. And what the crease node does is it looks at any edge and it assigns a weight to it. So I'm going to click here and select three edges here. And I'm going to press enter there and then go back to my subdivide node and we see that it's kind of making it a little bit different of a shape and I'm going to increase the crease weight here to make that look sharp so now we see that it will only smooth out the areas that do, that do not have a powerful crease weight I don't know why you'd want a shape like this maybe you're using it for some I don't know sci-fi movie and it's this box mixed with a circle type object who knows but it can be really handy with a lot of different objects so we'll delete the subdivision node and we still only have this box but since it has the crease weight attribute added to it we can go back render
and we see that it renders just as our subdivided node demonstrated. So that's a quick tip on how you can render in Houdini and Mantra using subdivision and you can conserve a lot of memory on your machine by using low poly mesh but still getting the curves and um, hard edges where you want them with the projects that you're working on. So that's a quick tip for today. If there's anything else that you'd find interesting or want to learn, just leave a comment there and I'll see if I can get to that. Thanks.